Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Josh Matakor. I've helped a lot of people break into IT and cybersecurity, and today I'll be responding to a viewer's comment. Uh, they're really frustrated that Security Plus costs so much money and they're just trying to like save up and break into the field and they're worried that they're gonna fail the exam and all that. Uh, I'm gonna read the question and respond to it and talk about a couple of different ways you can approach this if you're in the same camp where you don't necessarily wanna spend several hundred hundreds of dollars on a certification only to possibly fail it. But before we get started, uh, me and my team built a whole bunch of free practice questions for a lot of IT and cybersecurity exams. Definitely check those out. They are 100% free. So uh, I'm just going to read the comment. I probably won't read the whole thing, but um, yeah. Basically they're saying, I'm trying so hard to work towards these certifications, but I can't do this. Uh, why is the security plus 404? dollars. I'm trying really hard to change my life. I've studied for the test. I've been doing practice exams, keeping up with the information. I've researched companies and industries and I'm doing my hardest, but that one certification is so hard to get because I don't have the extra funds to take it. And basically he just goes on talking about like why it's so expensive and that it's required to get into the industry and stuff. And anyway, it's expensive and he doesn't want to deal with it. So there's like, there's like a lot of different ways to go about this. And by the way, I agree. And for the record, I think CompTIA is, is like, I don't think they're like that great of a company. I think they're a nonprofit, but you know how that goes. And I don't think security plus should cost $404 for, for what exactly. So anyway, I, I agree with you on that. Um, but how to deal with it, there's like uh, a few different ways, I, I suppose. Um, I talk about what's called the employability framework on my, I, on my channel quite a bit and certification is a part of that. But basically like employability framework states that the only two things you have to worry about if you want to get a job is to like pass an interview, like first get an interview and then second to pass the interview. And there's all kinds of ways um, to get an interview, right? You just have to have like a good enough resume, essentially. I mean, there's other ways, but if your resume is good enough, then at least somebody will give you uh, an interview, right? And you can you can just make a resume that's good enough to get an interview. Like if you if we go to like an extreme example, you can just copy my resume, right? And then slap your name on it. And then no doubt you're going to get interviews, right? That's kind of an extreme example. What I'm trying to say, it's kind of easy to make a good, it's easy to make a good uh, resume, right? And to get interviews, just copy someone's resume, right? And then once you're actually in the interview, that's when you have to perform. And that's when like security plus and all that stuff doesn't really matter anymore. So to get an interview, right? You just have to make, make a good resume. And if you look at how to make a good resume based on the employability framework, um, you know, quality resume means like good written communication, education, certification, portfolio, and experience. And the thing that you don't have, or that's too expensive, say for example, like you don't have certifications, um, cause it's like too expensive or whatever. It's okay. You can still get an interview if you don't have certifications, but you have to like look at the other areas and, and make up for it in those other areas, if that makes sense. So portfolio is essentially free. It just costs time and effort, right? Um, I have a video or yeah, I have a video on how to make a good portfolio. And there's like a bunch of cybersecurity projects on my channel. So if you make a really, really good portfolio, it will, it'll, it will at least partially make up for your lack of certification, right? And if you don't have like any formal education, um, you can always put something like edX or MITx. You can take like a free class or something and put that on your resume. And if you don't have experience, you can kind of like use your portfolio projects. And then you can, I talk about this a lot on my channel. You can make a lot of cybersecurity or IT centric content and post a lot on LinkedIn and do daily polls, like security plus practice question polls and like build a following on like Twitter and LinkedIn or something like this. And then you can make your own company like a whatever security LLC and just say that you're doing cybersecurity content. And this is better than not having any experience at all. So all I'm saying is you can like boost up other areas on your resume, like to where it's good enough to where you can actually start getting interviews. And this, this is completely possible because a lot of my students in both my courses, like a lot of them have gotten jobs without having um, any certification or any degree. So you just have to make up for it in other areas. And you can still like um, get around, like I guess get around the fact that you don't have the certification by you can like actively study for it and then you can still put it on your resume and then put like in parentheses like in progress or something like this that way at least the resume um, scanning systems like the ats at least it will flag it potentially for having security plus and then at least like a certain percentage of those will flag you for having security plus then you can like potentially go on and have an interview um, 
or something like that. And I'm not telling you to do this, uh, but for example, if someone were to um, go out and study Security Plus a lot and they have like all the knowledge behind it essentially and they have like a lot of projects and stuff on their resume and they, they generally like know what they're talking about. If that person were to lie and say they had Security Plus and then get, you know, get an interview and subsequently get hired, like I wouldn't be mad at that person for, you know, putting I have Security Plus on my resume when they didn't have it. I'm not telling you to do this. Um, I put expired certifications on my resume, which is like almost lying, right? Because technically I don't have it anymore because it expired. But to be honest, like the whole like getting hired and, and that whole like dance or whatever, that thing is just a huge game. Like all you're doing is essentially like manipulating an employer into hiring you. That's like what you're doing at the end of the day. You're convincing or manipulating them into hiring you by conveying that you have ability to do the job, etc. And, you know, if especially if something on your resume is like overshadowing Security Plus, like you don't want Security Plus to be the most impressive thing on your resume, right? If, uh, you know, whatever Jane Doe was to lie and say she had Security Plus and has a whole bunch of like nice projects on her resume and she's just like too poor to get Security Plus or something and she gets the job, I, I certainly wouldn't be mad at her for that because I don't care about CompTIA and I don't think CompTIA is like some benevolent organization and I don't think people need to like pay their dues and like giving money to break into a field or something. That's, I think that's all nonsense. Like, like if you have the money and you feel good enough to like go out and buy this or like go ahead and do it. Um, but I'm not going to get mad at people for, for lying about it. Right. As long as you can perform in the interview and you can do your job, that's kind of like my personal rule. Um, I don't, I don't want to waste other like humans times. I don't care about big companies who don't get about people. I don't care about them, but I don't want to like, waste my interview panel's time and I don't want to waste my coworkers time. So for me, like anything is fair game as it's not as long as it's not like too crazy. You don't like, you know, commit like an actual like felony or something like this, but like, you know, lying to an employer or putting something on your resume, like security plus in progress, you know, that's totally fine. Just think about it as, as a game, right? Um, just get a good enough resume to get hired. Um, I'll put you use this one, I'll put a link in the description. You can kind of retrofit this to you and then put Security Plus on there if you want, like in progress, if you're studying for it, and then just start submitting quality applications. Um, I hope this helps. And I know like stuff costs a lot of money, right? You just have to do what you can um, with the resources and like time and money that you have, just like do your best. But yeah, hope this helps. Um, it will definitely work if you, if you implement it properly, but yeah, good luck.